going tool nuts. We got a couple new additions to the Makita Impact wrench line here. Uh, they've had a few around for a while. We got a three quarter. You've got a half an inch on the high end torque wrenches. Uh, now we're going to take a look at some new additions that they have. There's a mid torque which I've bought for my different jobs around the house and mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, and then we have a couple kind of mid low torque. These guns are running about 430 nut busting. Uh, and then a corresponding number for torque. They do vary. Uh, with each speed, you do get a certain foot poundage on a fasten uh, side of things. And then they're available in a couple different ways. You can do a detent pin if you have a pinhole type of a socket that you want to drive, or you can get a hog ring. And that's just a difference between what kind of sockets that you like to run. Most of these guns, uh, all of them actually have either a -pin, detent pin or a hog ring option in the low, mid, and high levels. I got the newest addition here. Um, this is the XWT18. Uh, it's a half inch with a detent pin. Uh, there's also a 17, which is the hog ring version. Nothing changes between the nut busting torque or the fastening torque. Uh, nut busting torque on this particular, particular gun is 740 foot-pounds uh, to break a, a lug or a nut or a bolt loose uh, and then you have 560 fastening torque pounds so huge thing uh, it's a lot of torque um, the other thing that we really want to touch on though is is when you're in the nut busting mode you've got three different features here so I can break loose and it'll stop automatically uh, once it feels that the nut has been broken loose. And then you can hit this again. There's three different versions of a nut break. That one gets it a little bit looser, uh, but it still stops, just letting you know that it's broken loose. And then you have a creep feature, which would be after it breaks, it will slowly turn it all the way off so you don't zip a nut right off and then lose it somewhere in the shop or underneath something where you're not going to be able to find it like we've all had happen to us a hundred times or more so now it'll just creep until you get the nut all the way off. we're the tool nuts tool nuts we're the tool nuts